So this is the straight grain of the fabric. This is my muslin. It's just a piece of muslin, right? So I am laying it on my center front, but this is the thing. I need, uh, when you are draping, you need to lift it up and have a space so you can cut and give a shape, right? So instead of like starting from here or just here, you need to lift it little up as much as you want to give a uh, flare, you need it like having it up. So let me, Josh is not in here. Okay. So I am just adding the center front. I'm going to just do the, what should I do? Just the front to the, all the way back, hopefully. Otherwise, we will see how much flare I'm going to give first. I'm pinning on the center front. Let's say I want to give lots of flare to the front of body and on the side seam, on the side, I'm going to have it less flare. We can do that or it's, you know, up to me, of course. Uh, that's why we do have this. Otherwise, you just want to cut it circle. It's going to be full flare skirt or half circle, which is all the flares are divided around the body equally but in order if you do not want to have the flares equally and you decide where you want to add your flare this is where you are going this is what you're doing if you want to give lots of flare in the front and on the sides just make it very straight you know uh, or uh, the front piece, let's just do that. The front piece, you want it actually to be more straight, you know, front, center front, and on the princess seam, you don't want to flare at all in here. And you want to flare start on the sides. So it gives a lot of body at the sides, you know, instead of starting from the front. Let's, let's do that. We can do that. So basically, if that's the case, you decide, you say you want, you don't want to flare too much flare in here. And this is where you want to start your flare from. It's almost past your princess seam. So the princess seam is kind of straight. After princess seam, you want to add flare. So you pin it around where you want your flare. and you cut exactly from that area to your waist okay and you start to drop it the amount of you drop the amount you drop is basically going to be your drape your flare if you want it a lot you basically do this bring it down you see that so this is the only flare if you want just the front princess seam you see that and pretty much almost straight on the side this is how you control it for example, I'm just going to do that. Let's do it to show you. I'm basically making the side almost straight grain, which is actually a cross grain. 
and give all the flare I wanted to the front piece at the princess seam. You see that? But the front is pretty straight too. So the front, center front, not going to have any uh, flare. Like it's not going to have bumpy. It's going to be straight, the front. Only you gave all the flare on the princess seam. And the side is going to be straight down as well. So when it hangs on the body, side's going to be lean and close to body. The front going to be lean and close to body. Only on your princess seam, around your princess seam, you're going to have lots of flare in there. This is how you're controlling it. Let's say you don't want that much dramatic in here, but you want the front to be straight. And by after that, just give a little. So a little bit of, you just decide. You're holding your cut. You decide how much. I said, okay, this one is enough. I don't want too much. I want this area to sit on the body and the flares start from the almost the hip down. So I, again, I pin it and decide on my second flare and I move forward. I want my second flare to be on my side seam. So I move to my side seam, I pin it into my side seam and then I give it, let me, I give a cut around my side seam And on my side seam, I again decide if I want to give a little bit of flare. Let me cut this one so you can see it. On my side seam, I want a little flare or a lot of flare. I want a little flare. So I control the one, this one as well. I say just a tiny bit is enough. And I pin and move forward, but again, do you see I'm finishing? I don't have much. So I had to lift this one even a little higher if I wanted to cover my full back piece. Or I can come only to my back princess and whatever I have left over, I can add to my back princess. And I can add another piece of fabric starting from my side seam to center back. So this way, I do have a little I do have a little starting from here, right? Let me put my glasses so I can see. Little in here, very slightly in here, and exact little bit more maybe in the back, but you can, again, you can decide how much flare you want in here. You want it straighter or you want it more or you want it tiny. And when you have it, you just pin and then you mark you mark your waist Okay, and you mark your princess seam because after here, maybe you want to make it the back straighter or give lots of gathering or flare in here. You will decide later, 
but I'm going to make my princess seem straight drawing on the fabric so I can see what type of in what grain I can see it if I want it little or if I decide to give more and then I'll have to drop it more and on the side seam going to my side seam I already have the front and this is my front princess just in case you know so you can say princess front center front side seam princess back got it Hey, Nedani Kui here. Thank you for watching this video and I hope it helps you on your sewing and dressmaking journey. If you like to create clothes for any shape that fits like a glove without wasting weeks on figuring out the fit issues, I'd like to invite you to check out our online platform called Draping Society. We've got step-by-step -step courses, live stream seminars every week, and we have an amazing worldwide community of like-minded sewists. We also have a unique system we call the Dressmaker's Path. No matter where you are right now on your skill, whether you are a new beginner or working professional, this system is designed to kickstart your progress with a huge impact while also having a lot of fun along the way. We designed Draping Society as a relaxed year-round workshop that you can follow at your own pace so you are never going to get that feeling of falling behind. On the flip side, you'll never feel held back either. If you wish to become a confident and skillful dressmaker, join us and be amazed by your transformation. Click here or below or just go to drapingsociety.com. I look forward to seeing you inside. Cheers.